What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most cordial show on the internet. My name is Riley Zuko, with my inviting co-host, Graydon. Welcome. Today's game is Sample. <laughs> this is... Guess the popular rap song from the sample. DJ Grant's gonna play us a song or sound that's been sampled in a popular rap song. We're gonna guess which popular rap song that is. But today we are joined by a very special guest. He has a Brad taste in music, and he is Brad taste in music. Uh, clip. Ow! <laughs> Why? One point for each one we get right. Me versus Brad versus Graydon versus you. Bryce Daniels from Malibu. Not so Bryce to meet you, Daniels. <laughs> oh. All right, before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, HiveMindTV.com for our merch. We also have a merch drop over on Cope's website, which is linked in description along with our Patreon or our Cameo if you'd like to support us or click the join button here on YouTube. Become a member. I love the members. <laughs> we also have short form content over on TikTok and Instagram Reels. Follow us over there. And please subscribe to Brad Taste and Music. Yeah, I'd appreciate it. And I have a dog named Mr. Cletus. Get well soon, Mr. Cletus. All right, let's get into the first sample. What do you think, Brad? Dude, I'm excited. I'm hyped. This is my kind of game. Even if I fail and lose everything. This is just like so fun to me. I'm gonna use two boards. Why? I don't know. Just felt like I could write bigger maybe. Uh, this one has my name on the back of it. Just use one then. But I just feel like- You're not better than anyone else. I guess I don't want to get too bored throughout the video. <laughs> All right, let's hear that first sample, Grant. Oh, I've definitely heard this one. Yeah, same, but I can't pin down what it is. Are you both being serious right now? It's like new. Are you both serious with me? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> you can't speak any other languages, can you? No. <laughs> <laughs> can you speak your partner's love language, though? Yes, I actually can. Yeah, her love language is... Ooh, no, please don't overshare. Yeah, don't overshare. Yeah, no thanks. No, it's something wholesome, though. It's, yeah. it's actually nah, wholesome. Yeah, that's even worse. Wicker baskets If it was something. weird as hell, yeah. man, that would be that would be a cool thing. But honestly, yeah, if you get into, like, Ugh. something that feels kind of lovey-dovey... Words of affirmation or something, Ooh. Riley's skin's gonna no, crawl. No, 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 no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she's someone who uh, appreciates trust and openness. Uh, very clear uh, communication. I'm lose my lunch. Oh, God. I'm gonna toss some cookies if you don't stop. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. That was my ex's love language. Tossing cookies? Getting her cookies tossed. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. I would do that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Her mom had some nice cookies, too. She was a real chip off the old block. Yeah. You know Tag know along. I mean? Samoas. I'm just trying to add stuff in. Was she a Girl Scout? What thin the mints. hell? Dude. She had some thin mints on her. What? <laughs> Give me some Moas that. So what Samoa? You could have just, you said, could Samoa. just said Samoa. Yeah, you that. Just said Samoa that. Samoa that. It would have been nice, but no. Yeah. I'd like to tag a tag a long, my long thing in there. <laughs> what, dude? Sand dollars. Sand dollars. <laughs> right on. Is that the name of one of the cookies? Or I think so. Oh I yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. They'll never beat Thin Mints. Those those were the absolutely worst. what? No, they were the best. Like you could have them just like out the box. You could freeze them, and then they're basically an unstoppable cookie. Can I ask the audience? Go ahead. All right, uh, audience, is this uh, a more recent hip hop song? Oh, there's someone in the audience there. Fuck you, Brad. That was the audience, man. Oh my god. Oh, they I do not like you. Tough crowd, yeah. You got a stain on your shirt. What the hell? Thin mints are overrated. Dude, thin mints are the shit, man. You guys are missing out. Three, two, one. Put Sistin M by Jid. I put Scrawberry by Jid. Put Paint the Town Red by Doja Cat. It is Paint the Town Red by Doja Cat. Duh. Bitch, oh, I said what I said. I'd rather be famous instead. instead. Oh, oh, yeah, that's brand new, yeah. That's so. such a good song, too. I literally was, like, singing it in my head, and then I was like, wait, this sounds like something J.I.D. would sample. Yeah, no, it really did. I will say, though, that my partner, she she hates Doja Cat now because, you know, drama and whatnot, but she really likes the new song, and I do not understand why. Oh, I love that Oh, I song. love the new song, and I agree with her. Ooh. Yeah. I think she's going a little far with it, but I kind of agree with the sentiment that fans don't know the people and they're acting like they know her and expect stuff from her. I, I, I mean, you know, tomato, tomato. I'll have my opinion. You have your opinion. <laughs> right, right. They disagree. <laughs> they don't get along off the camera. <laughs> they hate each other. That's not true. That's not oh, true at all. It's not true at these, all. These guys can't stand each other the second the cameras go it's off. It's not true. They it's hate not each true. Other. Yeah, yeah, look at it. Look at it. Yeah. These guys can't stand each other. Brad likes cars and like, Working out and going to the beach and stuff, and Riley likes art. <laughs> art is awesome. It's a great way to express yourself. That's great, man. <laughs> you know, I kind of like art too. You know, I don't get along with either of these guys off camera. <laughs> Bitch, I said what I said. I'd rather be famous instead. Sounds like she's sampling Animal Crossing. Never played it. 
Not a nerd. That's true. Riley's not a big video game person. Nope. It's true. I am, okay? Your life is like a video game. G, baby. What's number two? Kane. Float On. Float On by Modest Mouse, and I believe this is an interpolation. It's both. I was going to say, it's an interpolation and a sample. I really like both songs, uh, the one that this is a sample of and for. I like the Modest Mouse song much better, I will say that. Oh yeah, no, I mean, I agree, but I, I think that the one, you know, that the answer to this one is underrated. And uh, you probably have no idea what we're talking about here. I drove my mom crazy when I learned how to play this on guitar. You do a good Isaac Brock, though. A good Modest Mouse impression. I crashed my car into a the other day. And that's just true, by yeah. the way. He, he actually oh. did crash his car into a cop car the other Fuck day. Fuck that pig, man. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> he slammed his sedan into that pile of bacon harder than you could have hit your friend with a valley baseball bat. And I got out <laughs> bleeding and concussed, and I said, <laughs> Silly! Give me that gun, fat boy! It's okay to be fat phobic if they're cops, by the way. Fuck yeah, it is. Said. Donut sucking fucker. That's oh. what I call them. Wow. Yeah. Three, two, one. I put We'll All Float On, Lupe Fiasco. Uh, I put Lupe Fiasco, The Show Goes On. I put Sprinter by Dave and Cinch. <laughs> <laughs> this is The Show Goes On by Lupe Fiasco. Uh, I'm not going to give him the point. I'm not either. <laughs> okay. I just forgot what he was singing. I was like, all right, already the show all goes on. on. All right. S.O.S. Somebody rescue me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, already the show goes on. I'm so happy this is here. I, I really do like this song. It's like one of the few songs on this album that I think are actually like really good. So It's such a weird one for Lupe Fiasco. Yeah. yeah like I know yeah. he had hits, but his hits were still like really about him being like a lyrical rapper. And then he just has this one that is not about yeah. that at all. Yeah. It has aged. That's what yeah. I would say. I like, still think wine. it's a banger. It's yeah, good. Exactly, it's good. Yeah. But it has aged. Like you can tell it's yeah. aged. Nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. Yeah, all right. Never mind. It's, it's brand new. <laughs> it's brand new. Timeless banger with no issues. Grant, what's that third sample? Come sit by me. Oh, MIA. Oh, yeah. Wow, I can't believe I know this one immediately. I have no clue. That makes sense, actually. I see. Okay. So earlier today, I was doing research on foot fetishes. <laughs> and I found out that the reason people have foot fetishes is because the part of the brain that perceives feet is right next to the part of the brain that perceives genital stimulation. Really? That's really what it is. And I also found out that the part of the brain that perceives babies is right next to the part of the brain that perceives food. <laughs> and my cousin hit his head really hard a couple weeks ago. And so those receptors switched. So now when he sees a baby, it's like he's looking at it like a pot of gumbo or a sizzling steak. Oh, that's awesome, man. I mean, he starts salivating. That is awesome. And it's not like, no, he hasn't like tried it or sure. anything. He hasn't okay. tried yeah. one or All anything right. like yeah. that. Like, All right, that's but funny. I mean, when he walks into a daycare, I mean, his mouth starts watering like it's a breakfast buffet. That is awesome. Does he have a kid? No, he doesn't have a kid. So why is he going in the daycare? I mean, that's, I mean, he shouldn't. That's what I'm saying. That's nose. what I'm saying. It's just kind of like, yeah, he hasn't done anything yet. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but like, what are you even supposed to do about that? I mean, I'd just hollow out that soft spot and I'd put an egg in there and make like a hot pot. I'd press in the soft spot. That's, you know, that's flying a little close to the sun, don't you think? And I would like, crack an egg in there. I don't know if he's going to stop at the egg if the bowl is appetizing. Well, I'm saying you eat the kid. Well, no, 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 no. That's oh. what I'm saying. Like, you shouldn't do that. Oh, maybe put it on like a rotisserie and put it like five feet above a fire and let that sucker spin for like 14 hours so the meat's so soft it like drips off the bones. I mean, dude, he is like losing his <laughs> mind trying not to eat children. That's kind of like all oh. of your solutions have been eating children. Yeah. That's not, he shouldn't do that. Yeah. He thumped his head and now infants are like cheeseburgers. Maybe like simple like garlic butter, rosemary, oven, 365, two and a half hours. He does not need recipes. Broil it for the last for 15 kids. minutes to get it no, crisp. No, this is not, this is exactly the opposite. I'm uh, saying like, how should he restrain himself? Right. I'd use a cast iron pan, white wine, vinaigrette with a shallot. 
Oh, and maybe no. some tarragon. I would take uh, the baby's ass, the fat part, and I would coat the pan in that baby <laughs> Ooh, fat. Uh. And then I would get all the lean loins and stuff, and I'd give them a nice hard sear on the cast iron. It does sound good, I, I, I will say. <laughs> yeah. Like tarragon right. and, and baby fat. I mean, yeah. wow. But, I, but still, again. What about a 30-day dry age? I know it takes a little extra time, but that, I mean, it really does something to the meat. By that time, it's basically a toddler. Yeah, I don't yeah. even think he'll be hungry. Yeah, he shouldn't go down that route, man. It's a messy, messy road. And once you get a taste, you know what they say, Brad. That you need help. Nothing compares to the taste of human flesh. That's what they say, man. It is the most dangerous game. And the most delicious filet. I'm just going to tell him to get a new hobby. Maybe start collecting stamps or something. You ready, Brad? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm excited to get back into the game, you know? Three, two, one. Is this Diplomat's Son by Vampire Weekend? I think all the antics got to my head because I wrote Drake featuring Blade Baby Soft Spot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I wrote the intro to Utopia. I forgot the track title. This is Diplomat's Son by Vampire Weekend. Yeah. Oh. I don't listen to Vampire Weekend. That Told shit you. is hipster crap to me. <laughs> he was a diplomat's son. It was 81. That's the one that Rostam sings off of Contra. Nice. It's actually top three on the album for me. I love that song. Just Hipster bullshit. Yeah, I kind of have to agree with Graydon. You on this love one. that album. Yeah. We, we've listened to it together many times. Yeah, it's a great album. Hipster bullshit for snobs and whites. <laughs> you like modern vampires of the city even more. Yeah, it's you've my called favorite. it a perfect album. It is. It's a modern classic. Hipster bullshit. I wouldn't even respect a man who calls that album a modern classic. It is, though. <laughs> What? It is an unskippable classic, and I wouldn't have the time of day to talk to someone who would say that. Yeah. Let's hear that fourth sample, Grant. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Is that the Hulk? That's the Hulk. Is that Mark Ruffalo's Hulk or an older Hulk? Older Hulk. Bullshit. <laughs> no one watches that. Bruce Banner. Is that the name of the Hulk, the real guy's name? Yeah. Bruce Wayne, Bruce Banner. Bruce Hornsby. Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Taste in Music. Bruce yeah. the Shark from Finding Nemo. My Uncle Bruce. Slightly disgraced by the family. Not for really any particular reason either. I've always kind of questioned it, other than he's weird. You know, actually on the topic of the sample, uh, I imagine this is probably going to be starting off a rap song for a beat drops, I feel like. Favorite vegetable. Go ahead. Carrot. Really? It's like the only one I can eat without throwing up. Throwing up. Yeah. You are really just like a big child, aren't you? <laughs> I really am. You're like a big little kid. <laughs> he loves the candy store yeah. and throws up from vegetables. Yeah, and calls yeah. it Auntie Annie's. <laughs> yeah, wow. I got some heart problems. I don't have much longer to live. Oh, man, that is fucking tragic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I will have a good time at your funeral, though. I will not weep and I will not cry. I will Party, just like you wanted, brother. That is actually, you know, I, I will appreciate that, but I don't think I'm going to invite you to my funeral, though. Oh, you don't have to invite me. Yeah, you don't get to send out the invites, yeah. especially oh. if it's all out of nowhere, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. 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 I'm going to be there, man. Tina's going to invite him. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah, Tina. Forgot about her. What? <laughs> Dude, we are four questions in. You already <laughs> forgot about your partner. Boys night, you know? <laughs> Boys night! Boys night. Let's go. <laughs> I love that, but uh, do not forget about your betrothed. <laughs> okay. Are we going to get an invite to the wedding? Yeah. I would actually love to have you guys there. You're kidding me. No. Come I don't want to pressure you on camera. No, actually, I'd be honored to have you We guys each there. get a plus one, though? What? We each get a plus one? Yeah, we each get to bring a date. Oh, yeah, of course. Right. Yeah. I'm going to bring my freaky cousin, Chester. <laughs> <laughs> he always does this! Yeah. He always does it! Yeah. He's so fucking freaky! Yeah. The last wedding Chester. we went to, he dressed up as the jester, and he was Chester the jester. And he, yeah, that's played out, though. That's played out. He I'm was not, the no, ring no, bearer. No, no, stop. He was the ring bearer. I'm not going to do that this time. It's going to be a whole new thing. Okay, but I'm just reminiscing on a funny story. I think I'm going to dress him up like Joe DiMaggio this time. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Old Yankees. Yeah, make him have polio or whatever? Uh, <laughs> I was going to skip that part. It's going to be a young Joe DiMaggio. Yeah, like but then Marilyn get, Monroe's little guy. He'll get polio. Actually, wait, I could play out his whole life throughout the wedding. <laughs> That's what I mean as it goes on. <laughs> By the end of the reception, cool. we bury him and retire as Jersey in the Raptors. <laughs> oh, it would be like a wedding funeral. Yeah. Slash base. There'd be and, lots of baseball and games. And as throughout. people leave, we've games. switched into Simon and Garfunkel outfits and we sing that one song. Yeah. Mrs. Here's Robinson. To you, Joe, Joe DiMaggio. DiMaggio. The nation turns its lonely eyes to you. We'll work on our harmonies. Don't woo, worry about woo, that. woo. I think I'm going to retract that plus one. I, 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 Come I, I, on, dude. Wait, and give us both a plus two? Come on. Nah, nah. I think I, I want my wedding to go normal. I, I just want family, friends, you know. No antics, no circus bullshit. Well, you're no getting Mrs. a fox Robinson. as a gift. 
A I'm going to put a fox in a box, and that's going to be your wedding gift. Box, box. <laughs> classic <laughs> classic, classic yeah. bit, yeah. yeah. Are you going to do something ridiculous, or can I actually invite you? Well, I'm definitely going to do my freaky cousin Chester as Joe DiMaggio, and right. if you do give us a plus two, yeah. like we talked about, then I'm going to get my other freaky cousin Tyler <laughs> to play Mickey Mantle. <laughs> oh, yeah, bring out all the classic Yankees in their pretty little pinstripes at Bread Tastes Wedding with... A fox in a box. I, I I'd like it. my wedding to like expand beyond my online character. I, I'd like to, you know, Mr. Rapper- and Mrs. Taste in Music. <laughs> yeah. We Plus hot ass Mrs. Robinson as Graydon's Plus One. Yeah. yeah. You're yeah, gonna yeah, introduce yeah. her as Graydon's Plus One. Yeah. Hive Mind presents <laughs> Brad's <laughs> wedding. What do you think? First dance. I call first dance. I was just gonna say you should do one of those interview videos and just like interview everybody there. We don't want to work. Interviewing <laughs> everyone at Brad's wedding is a good idea, but not as good as the Joe DiMaggio Mickey Mantle with my freaky cousins. Uh, yeah. Not to mention the fox and the fox and hot ass Mrs. Robinson. Grant, are you gonna do anything ridiculous if I invite you? I do what they say. You do what they whatever, say? Yeah, whatever they want me to do is what I'm going to do. I'm going to need a plus three, by the way. I completely forgot about Grant. Yeah. Uh, Grant, you're the only one invited. Ah, uh, let's go. Three, two, one. Danity Kane, Earl Sweatshirt. Oh. Oh, I just said Tizo touchdown five something. I don't know. I put Dog's Heart by Mateus Vespa. This is Making the Band, Danity Kane by Earl Sweatshirt. <laughs> That was such a good song. It's so unfortunate I forgot about that. That's yeah. a banger. I need to listen to the new Earl album. I heard it's very good. Yeah, I listened to like five songs of it on stream and thought it was very good, but I was on an NFT website and I was worried about getting a virus. Do you guys like the song, I guess? I've never heard of it, but Matthias Vespa is an awesome name. Yeah, it's made up. That's how awesome I it was. You didn't even it. get Dog's Heart by Matthias Vespa. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Some of my best work right there. I thought it was honestly like an Italian bossa nova guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just a little peep into the magic that is my brain, Brad. Yeah, yeah. Bruce Banner, how I handle the rage. You would like me when I'm angry. Loose cannon in the meat of state. Shout out Evil Gianni. Yep. Clams Casino, co-produced. That is one of my favorite rap songs of the year. All right, Grant. What's the next sample? <laughs> That's it. That's all I get. Uh, <gasps> wait, I know what it is. Why do I all of a sudden feel like I have more points? You know what I mean? <laughs> Play it again, Grant. <laughs> There's another one. I've never played this. The game? Yeah. I don't even know what sound or what game it is. But... To Mario Coin. Sonic. Sonic. Oh, Mario. Oh, it's, it's a Frogger. Sonic. Yoshi. Monic. Sario. Manic. You are playing Manic. Sario, I'm Manic. <laughs> <laughs> Mario, I'm Sonic. Nice to meet you. I'm fast as hell and I'm a hedgehog, but I'm blue. Do you guys ever have a <laughs> friend whose older sister had a hedgehog? Yeah. Yeah, right? What the hell, Megan? Yeah. Right. You know Megan Gallagher? Everyone had a friend whose older sister had a hedgehog. Right. Yeah, what's up with that? I don't <laughs> think that's everyone. I... You think did. That's very niche. You did. You did. You had one. I did not. Yeah, remember the Gallaghers? No, I've never met the Gallaghers. I've never met any Gallaghers in my life. We you used like... to eat hot dogs before we cooked them, like frozen. Right I out. literally just met you guys like a month ago. I don't know what you're talking about. You like you getting your hair pulled in the bedroom? <laughs> from yeah. behind? You gonna like that? I don't know how we got here, but get closer with us. Share intimate things about yourself. Yeah, maybe like when it's not filming, but like you're asking me, do I like what I like in the bed? Room, like, All right, does any friend of yours like getting their hair tugged on during the nasty stuff? I don't know how to answer this. I feel like it's very obvious that you're alluding to whatever I answer is going yeah, to be safe. About We're talking me. about a friend of yours. Okay, if you really want to know, come on, you remember Megan Gallagher? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> not, I do not know Megan Gallagher. We I don't know these around people. To I want it that way by the Backstreet Boys. No. And her mom came in the room and accused me of being gay. What? And then I was like, I'm seven years old. I don't even know yet. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Just because I like the Backstreet Boys? Give me a break. Can you sign this for me? Come no! On. It's the rib you broke. The least you could do is fucking sign it. <laughs> it's a hairline fracture. He'll be all right. Oh, that's awesome. This isn't much yeah, of a dude. signature. God, you are a You child. write really big, yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Broccoli by Drum. I put Game Over by Falling in Reverse. I put Carousel. This is game over by falling in reverse. <laughs> wow, wow. I remembered. I was like, what is this? And then I just like, it hit me because I was like, it sounds like a video game sound. And then it just like all came together. I was like, nah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Don't bring your beef over here, okay? We like Ronnie. <laughs>
Bro, I it's know. your game. I didn't do shit. No, I know. I'm just letting you know not to say anything from here on out because we like him. You can say something. You like Ronnie. I like Ronnie Radke. You like Ron what do you like about Ronnie Radke? I love his lyrics inspire me. What about them? What lyrics specifically inspire you? Um, uh, my life is like a video game because that's cool and it's like uh, it's immersive. It's immersive. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh, I don't. I'm trying to be diplomatic, man. I'm trying to be on everybody's side. No, I'm I know cool you with are. You. Yeah. I'm cool with like anybody that you beef with. You know, Melanie, Ronnie, Fantano, whoever. I don't know who you starting stuff with I'm, nowadays. And I'm saying I just want to be cool with everybody. You know, I actually do respect that. You know, because you have a lot of love in your heart, and you just want to see people get along. And you know what? I don't think that that's a bad thing. I don't care whether you get along. I want to get along with those people in case they want to help me out with some money. Even if it's like a roundabout way, like somehow the like we work with them or something, or maybe they're like, oh, we do a merch collab and sell it in Zoomies. Okay, so it's only money. It starts with other stuff, but yeah, it comes down to money. Yeah. <sighs> I had you all wrong, Riley. I'm just letting you know the lowdown. Just don't bring your Ronnie Red, stinky Ronnie Radke beef over here. Yeah, it's been kind of quiet on the Ronnie side anyway, so, you know, I still love you, Ronnie. Collecting coins. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you cut that to be very short in the thing, because he will come after you for like more than like two seconds. Well, I don't want to show our audience more than two seconds of it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> All right, for these next three, we've actually selected samples for each other to guess from. So for the first one, DJ Grant's going to play a sample that I've selected, and Brad and Graydon will guess, and then we'll go down the line like that. Now for mine, this one rap song samples five songs. Okay. Grant's gonna play three of them, and then you're gonna guess what the song is. Got it. We are war with terrorism. You guys heard that song before? I have. Of course. You know, classic. Just making sure, you know. To all the killers and the hundred dollar billers. Oh. I like that one even more than the Kanye song, to be honest. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, easy. Yeah. And that's relevant, real deal, humbly feel. All right, and that's the third one. Okay. I'm a little lost. I think it's more interesting. Like, I don't know that if I was played those three songs that I would remember. I just was listening to the song recently and was like, wait a minute. And then I went and looked it up and was like, whoa. I'm guessing that the samples all come from the lyrics, right? No, the songs themselves are sampled, but they tie into the lyrics. I'm just going to take a shot in the dark here. You alright? I just remembered something. What'd you remember? I have a whole family in another state. You just remembered that? I left for smokes two and a half years ago. What state? Iowa. Iowa? Yeah. Where in Iowa? Middle. Middle? It's in the middle of Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was because I was wondering city, but we formed our own town. You formed your own town and then you left? I totally forgot. Oh okay. smokes. Three, two, one. Kendrick Mad City. Prince of the Galaxy, Baby Tron? This is This Is Why I'm Hot by Mims. Whoa! Oh, it yeah. is! I thought it was the oh. Baby Tron song where he did all the beats. No. Yeah, I remember, like, the, the bill on this is insane for how much it costs to actually put together this song because there's literally all like a shitload of samples. The background music is rap songs from the areas he's talking about being in. It's not a great song, though, unfortunately. <laughs> Love that song. You're, I mean, what? It's not, it's not that good. This is why I'm hot. I don't gotta rap. I could sell a mill saying nothing on the track. I represent New York. I got it on my back. Say that we lost it, but I'm gonna get it back. You can't really defend this one, can you? The ladies Me? start to yeah. bounce as soon as I hit the club. Hipster bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Undeniable classic, though. You know what MIM stands for? I, I knew it at some point. Music is my savior. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah, it is, yeah. Me too. For you, it's your savior? Me too. You know, actually, though, real shit, it, it is for me as well. It, it I feel like it's my uh, it's my calling. What are you doing? What? <laughs> are you throwing up? No, I was gagging. I'll keep it down, but I was gagging a little, yeah. It was a little wholesome, and we, again, you know. What gives you purpose? Drugs. Cash. Fucking horsepower, honestly. Dude, hell yeah, man. Are you gonna fucking No, I'm again? looking oh. for a high five, dude. <laughs> hell yeah. Cool. I mean, you can understand why I'm a little skittish, right? Yeah, no, I get it. Yeah. I get it. You are a <laughs> Oh! <laughs> and when I hit the shy, people oh. say that I'm fly. Oh. They love the way oh. I dress. It's so on the nose, it's wild. I mean, this was that era though. Like this is this is why I like that song. Because like it is so straightforward, stiff New York rap shit. Yeah. I just like it. It was like a big hit. I like it too, man. Even though it's some hipster ass <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Up next, my friends, is my sample that I've chosen for y'all. All right. Enjoy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> 
That's Soul Dogs, Can't Stop Loving You. This is off a classic album. If no one's heard of Soul Dog, unbelievable listen, front to back. You could really get freaky to this shit. I am horned up. Oh. <laughs> yes, sir! I got them all horned up. Corn dogging, that's what we call it. Why do you call it corn dogging? I might blow a gasket. He's going to blow a gasket, that's why. Are you ready, assholes? I've never been more ready in my life. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. Tell your friends by the weekend. Drake, uh, I say you the fucking best. Hey, you the fucking. Hey. <laughs> this is Tell Your Friends by the Weekend. No, it is. No. You, oh, shit, Go you're right. It is. Tell your friends about it. About it. Go Don't tell, tell your friends about, about it. it. Don't believe the rumors, bitch. I'm still a user. When was this song? This is off Beauty, Beauty Behind, Behind the Madness. Madness. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I do remember really, like, because that was one of the first albums I actually, like, downloaded from, like, uh, Apple Music or something. Or Bear Sherry, you can say it. No, I actually bought it. I actually bought the album is what it was. I bought Damn. the clean version. I didn't know you came for money. It's $10. <laughs> I just didn't know you yeah, grew up with rich parents. That. I didn't know that. I so bought it on my own with my own money. Riley grew up with rich parents too. Oh, you got something in your teeth. Looks like a silver spoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got yeah. that for you. Yeah. I'm actually going to use that to do cocaine later. I'm inspired <laughs> by the song. Yeah, we're based and cool and <laughs> like drugs, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. yeah. Not a kid's show, buddy. A lot of people think that by the yellow wall and shit. Oh, it's good for kids. Fuck no, it ain't. It's not. Don't. It's not if you're kids. a kid, turn it off. Yeah, turn it off. You should have turned it off a while ago. <laughs> yeah, especially before I told that story about eating babies. I told that story. Well, I told them how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that nigga with the hair singing about popping pills, fucking bitches, living life so God! Last year, I did all the politicking. This year, it's time to focus on the vision. I, I don't know the next line. That's okay. I was just telling you. That's kind of like oh, my mantra yeah. for this year. Oh, yeah, focus on yeah. the vision. I did a lot of politicking last year. <laughs> you uh, did. Door-to-door -door campaigning. Unnecessary. For local politicians that I did not even know what they were fighting for. What do you know about local councilman Tom Brawlin? Tom Brawlin? Is and that the, a real and name? And the people go, well, not much. And Riley would say, me neither. Let's <laughs> get to the bottom of this. You got a desktop in there? You got yeah. a bathroom? I also got a pee. You'd be uh, drinking those Big lemonades. Yeah. <laughs> My Google was broken, so I needed yeah. to use somebody else's. I went door to door. Goo -goo. And I got really good at small talk. And yeah, that's yeah. what I was kind of trying to get out of that experience. Nice. Still do not know who Tom Brawlin is, though. Google dolls. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to Google dolls, and yeah. I, I accidentally stumbled into Iris. What a song. Well, I spent too many days in a row Googling dolls, and I got myself put on a watch list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't really look up that many kids' toys without having kids. Otherwise, they put you on a watch list. <laughs> Time for your sample. Oh, this is a sample that I'm not sure that either of you will get, but um, I'm more interested just like by the sample because it is such an amazing flip and the way that it's turned into the song is absolutely amazing. Um, it's by an unbelievable producer and uh, the artist on it too is quite interesting as well. Okay. Uh, so yeah, play that sample. Just Picked an easy one for me, buddy. I'm happy though. I'm glad that you get it because I was like, I just want to sh shine appreciation on this one. You know what I mean? Oh, you're lost. Yeah. Imaging all the heaping. <laughs> what the heck? John Legend, Christy Teigen's wife. John Legend. That's that's not John. <laughs> that's not John Legend. All of me wants all of you. We just ordinary people. Oh no, that's John Lennon. Sorry. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. Whoopsie. He was a piece of shit. Who was worse, Vladimir Lennon or John Lennon? Let's talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about it. Oh no, we're talking about Yoko's boy. <laughs> Three, two, one. I'm God by Lil B or Clams Casino. I put ice cream paint job. This is I'm God by Lil B. Yeah. This sample is unbelievable. Thought it was ice cream paint job. <laughs> <laughs> Move fast, stick slow, dick fast, talk slow. Yeah. God. You would pick that shit. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? You would pick that, you old son of a hog. <laughs> hey, at least it's not some hippie bullshit, okay? Yeah, I guess. Right? He's right. based. And I'm going to use this time, real quick, to put a curse on Robin Lopez this year. You know, Lil B put the curse on Kevin Durant and all yeah, that. Robin so Lopez is like, like 40, bro. I mean, yeah, but I'm just going to put the curse. Bad back. It's going to come back. It's going to get had him. a bad back. Yep. I don't know. He's going to have a bad season. Uh, yeah. He's probably not even going to play. He just reunited <laughs> with his yeah, brother. If I have anything to say with it, say about it's it, not then a he curse. won't. curse. You can't I'm gonna curse. put a curse on Robin Lopez. You can't curse Ooh. Robin Lopez. I did. I just cursed him. If he has a bad season, you know why.
Well, okay. Grant, can we hear the next sample? It's very based. It's a based thing. This next one is an interpolation. What the hell did I just hear? <laughs> too many men, too many, many men. That just sounds like a flow so many people have used. You guys are so stupid. We're stupid. Yeah, it's like the easiest one yet. Yeah? You know what's really been helping me with these games? Boy, ayahuasca retreats. <laughs> Really? Yeah, I've taken four in the last week. We've been filming all week. Like, you've been here. Not here, though. That's not an ayahuasca retreat. I mean, that's like, you have to go somewhere to do it. You know what I mean? I go to the bathroom. Like, in between takes. What? Yeah, I've been vaporizing it. What you think is nicotine. I'm smoking ayahuasca. Are you sure? 100%, buddy. I'm not even here right now. I'm riding a machine elves back all the way to Disneyland. I mean, you seem pretty with it. You've seemed pretty with it this week. I mean, Thank you've been you. a little off the rails, I guess, yeah. but I would I would say it's a stretch to say you're on a heavy psychedelic. Okay, yeah. that was a little off <laughs> of a reaction. I mean, but... is he usually this, like, threatening towards his guests, or? Yeah. Is that? No, oh. yeah. Oh, so that's, ah, hey, hey, whoa, chill. <laughs> yeah. So this is normal. Yeah, yeah, he's always like that. I mean, yeah, for sure. Huh. It's helped me a lot with my depression. <laughs> yeah. Self-esteem, kind of understanding the trauma of my childhood, and kind of getting closer to, I don't want to sound corny here, but like, God. So that's actually really sweet that you're, yeah. you know, tapping into that and, and finding yourself, you know? There's something really... Yeah, it's helped a lot. Moron. Dude, maybe his fucked up tendencies are a result of you constantly shooting him down. Sheep. <laughs> I think I was a sheep in a past life. No such thing as past lives. Wow. Okay. So it's that kind of environment. All right. You want to smoke some DMT, Brad? No, I don't okay, want to smoke dude, DMT. Dude, why do you keep trying to push drugs on me, bro? <laughs> it's not a drug. It's a key to the universe. He's offering you something. It's actually kind of nice. It's super expensive. Too. He is offering something that well, actually, will you're not ruin supposed my to, life. You're not even supposed to charge for it. It's kind of the golden rule of deems. So you're just supposed to get someone hooked on it so that they want it's to It's not that. addictive. People can't take it all the time. You're only supposed to take it four to six times a week if you really need it. That's a lot. That is insane. <laughs> way too it's like almost as many days as there are in the week it's less than though but yeah by you a take little. a day off by one to three drinking and dmt you take one day off a week not the same day though because the reality is you know is cold and hard to deal with that, yeah there's yeah. no way that that doesn't stay in your system for the day off if you're taking it six days a week stay in your system what do you mean i don't know how dmt works I just exactly don't... so shut up oh, yeah. uh yeah, that's a good point <laughs> i'm just trying to help. if you'd try a little of mine you'd know I see the good in him, you know? I want him to get better, but it just doesn't seem like he's willing to listen or try. I am not even here right now, brother. <laughs> what are you looking at? Look at a Mickey Mouse. He's wearing a golden leotard. He's making elephant ears, too. At do you an think incredible he's rate. Do you think he's okay to continue the game? Yeah, he'll be fine. Mickey! Let me get one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Mouse man! Elephant ear over here for me and my lady. I personally don't even think he's on any sort of psychedelic. I think this is all kind of like some sort of... <laughs> ruse or whatever. So Get your own! He's you said you weren't even hungry. He's just like this sometimes. I don't know. It's pretty convincing to me. I mean, it kind of seems like... If you wanted a bite, you should have got your own! Yeah, something's definitely wrong with him. <laughs> He's fine. This is how he always is. Mouse man! Get you later. Tell Walt I said, what up? No. <laughs> no. Trust me. This is like a normal Tuesday for <laughs> us. So I would just ignore him. We can get our guesses over with if you want. Yeah, I need I, the I, fast I, pass I, to get on the Tower of Terror? What the fuck? He'll catch up. It's fine. Three, two, one. Put many men by 50 cent. It said too many men by Devo. I put Sprinter by Dave and Sench. It is Sprinter by Central C and Dave. I got too many girls, too many girls. They're gonna last me the whole day a week. I don't listen to British people, so. Yeah, well. What about Coldplay? Especially not Coldplay. What about Cole Bennett? Fuck? Cole Bennett? Is he? I don't think he's British. Yeah, he's from Essex, mate. Uh, lyrical lemonade. Oh, I'm about to I'm so lyrical lemonade. Today I'm shooting a video for a little pump. <laughs> We're going to take you behind the scenes of Red Roses with Will Skies and Landon Cube. But first, <laughs> some bangers and mash. <laughs> Somebody rescue me. I've got too many, got too many, many. I've got, they could last me the next two weeks. Too many girls, they could ask him the next two weeks. That doesn't seem like too many. All right. <laughs> All right, DJ Grant, let's get to the next sample. Is that the theme song for the People's Court or something? Yeah, it does sound like the like, beginning of a judge show people in People are like, yeah. <laughs> he comes and he sits and it's like, vroom. All right, today we're talking about 
You stole his lawnmower or something. <laughs> <laughs> Some very low stakes yeah. and not political. And we're paying both of you to just be on TV. <laughs> I say this schmuck gives me 600 bucks. You know this one? God, no. Like, how? There's, there's so little here. Like, I feel like unless you immediately recognize, like, the exact place, it's just, I'm lost. Well, it's kind of drum and fife vibes. It could be a Revolutionary War song about Paul Revere being a lying hack. He didn't save no one. He was a whistleblower. My hands are so sweaty. Yeah, I got it. He's like the yeah. most famous. No, please, let me. Please. Stop. He's talking about Paul Revere. I know, but can I please just get your marker for you? No. I hate to see you struggle. Thanks, but no thanks. We have Brad. Paul Revere. Paul Revere. That's a good song by the Beastie Boys. Really? Yeah. How's it go? Oh, Paul Revere. He was here <clears throat> sipping a... Uh, something like that, yeah. And you can imagine Beastie Boys. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> we're like the Beastie Boys of YouTube. Yeah, a lot of Kinda, people have yeah. said that. Yeah. And we're like the Beastie Boys of YouTube. We're the Mr. Beastie Boys of YouTube. Love it. Mr. Beastie Boys. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> I'm going to put that whole shot in a fisheye lens. Nice. Nothing you can do about it, Brad. Yeah. That whole last shot, it's going to be in a fisheye lens. Oh, Who okay. the I don't fuck care. ever said fish see like that? What? Why is that a fish eye lens? You know what I mean? That's how fish see. Bullshit. Yeah. How do we know? I mean, how do we know anything? They exactly. have like they have like dog vision <laughs> goggles at the fucking Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, but that's a hack. <laughs> well, also a guy has become a dog once. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Tim Allen in the movie Fluffy or something. Yeah, his name was like Mister S- Mister Brixton or something. Yes, I think it was called Shaggy. Oh, Shaggy Dog. Yeah. Shaggy Dog. Yeah. Shaggy Dog. Yeah. That's funny how in Scooby Doo the human's name is Shaggy. Yeah. But in that one. Yeah. The dog's name is Shaggy. Powder. Powder. The dog's name is Shaggy in that one, but he is the fun-loving human who loves hoagies in Scooby-Doo. Yeah. Have you guys seen the live-action Scooby-Doo's? Like, uh... No! He was in it. Oh, my God. I wasn't. I'm not fucking Matthew Lillard. I'm fucking Anne Hathaway. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Lillard and me just made out once at a party. <laughs> I was off the maker's mark. <laughs> Three, two, one. Beautiful Girls by Sean Kingston. Judge Nudie by Young Nudie. I put Toy Soldiers. This is Human Behavior by Bjork. Oh, oh. Bjork sample. Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't yeah. even know what song that is. Talk about hipster bullshit. She's not even American. <laughs> <laughs> She's Icelandic. Yeah, which I guess could be part of America if we wanted it to be. Fun fact about Iceland. 368,000 people there, and... Uh, Put that in a frame of reference, there's 270,000 people in Toledo, Ohio. Is that what you're going to say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've heard the entire Bjork discography and not heard that song. What album is that from? Yeah. It's got to be off a of post, is what it is. It's off of debut. Yeah, that was my second guess, debut. Big fake Bjork fan. Brad Tasting Music. Wouldn't you call this shit hipster garbage anyway? Yeah. Oh, yeah, brother. <laughs> this, you already did. Why do you yeah. even care? I'm right there with you. No, Bjork's great. Yeah, if you like suede elbow pads on like a tweed blazer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you like a lot of uh, women singers. <gasps> He's got them. <laughs> What you gonna say to that? Joni Mitchell. Actually, Joni Mitchell's amazing. That's a great answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, fair enough. I'm an ally again. <laughs> okay, what's the next sample? In the morning. God. That song rocks. Yup. You guys both know it. Right off the bat. Can't believe this one hasn't been in samples yet. Amazing song. Both the original and the, uh, you know, the answer. Have you guys ever had like a Daft Punk sample on the show yet? Plenty. We've yeah. had songs that are sampled in Daft Punk songs, and then we've had Daft Punk being sampled in other songs. That's, that's awesome. I think I remember you guys doing one more time. Yep. Is that the Edwin Bird song? I think so. Yeah. Cola, Bum. bottle, shake. Baby. Oh, wait, no, I don't think so. I just know the... You know, that's like the cut-up thing. You have a like, beautiful that... voice. I think we're singing the same thing. We're just on different pages of the same book, brother. Thank you, I guess. Oh. You may not have made the baseball team this year, but... We're in you different scenes at the same Have movie. you ever been on camera without a hat? I know your brother died in the lake last summer, but I just want you to know that me and Jack here are always going to... 
be there for you. Even when you start high school. I think you're school. fine I, riding the scooter. I honestly think you're pretty good at it. I never and I had a brother. I think you should finally get that bunny hop off the ground this year. You're this right. They are going to pick on you once you get to high school. For Wait, pretty much everything. But I, Every aspect I of your personality. I think you look fine without braces. <laughs> I don't know why you're so I, insecure. I, I graduated high school. What about braces? You're not too old to learn to play on a violin. You still ever do that dream. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Get me the fuck out of here. Give me his hat. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, we're switching hats. He's got lice. I don't want it. Oh, I'm definitely showering after this video. Yeah, I wish I could. When was the last time you showered? I don't know how. <laughs> no one ever taught me. Never got to shower with my old pop. Oh, wow. That's sad. <laughs> That's sad. That is sad. <laughs> Express remorse for that. I never had Oh, I do. Okay. Give him some pity. I never showered with daddy. Yeah, he never got to shower with his old man. Yeah. He you grew up with money, bro. Yeah, he stinks, and it's not his fault. I he took never a hose learned. bath. We'd just fill up the backyard till it got flooded, and I'd roll sure, around. Sure, your mom okay, slept that's... around a little bit, but I wouldn't call it a hose bath. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you don't have to play hockey to be cool in high school. I honestly think you look good on the tractor. <laughs> what? Pop your shirt off, Brad. No. You look good on the what? tractor. What? There's no buttons on my shirt. I know softball's just for girls, but I'll talk to the coach. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hazard duty pay. JPEG Mafia. JPEG Mafia, hazard duty pay. Delhi, Ice Spice. It is Hazard Duty Pay by JPEG Mafia. Amazing song. I do like that song too. But you didn't recognize it? Hipster bullshit. Even if I did, I would not write it down. You I don't want to be recognized like that. You're kind of right though. It, it, it turned into hipster bullshit. It really did. Yeah. It used to be veterans tunes. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, actually, yeah. Now it's hipster bullshit. God! This ain't filled with this page of my heart. God, what a song. Oh, he's still It's going. over, bro. You're telling me he's not high. Oh, I didn't say that. I told you I was high on extreme psychedelics. No, no, no. I just said he's fine. He is not fine, bro. I'm doing hard. There's something not right with this guy, bro. I'll clap your brain out your mouth, son. Do you not? Do you guys not hear the words that come out of this guy's mouth? Am I alone on this? I don't know about the words coming out of his mouth, but I'd like to see your brain pop out of yours. I mean, yeah. that sounds cool as hell. I'll kick you so hard, your teeth will come out of your ass. How would that work? Think about how hard I'd have to kick you to kick you in the mouth. And yeah, but where where would you have to kick me? <laughs> Directly in the mouth, and you swallow your own front teeth that shatter after my vicious kick. Oh, okay, that actually does make sense. Pop yeah. out your little yeah. butthole. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Yeah. Not the butthole part, but I want to see would. like the. You would. I want to no. see the spectacle. He'd say, "Ow!" And then teeth come out your butthole. <laughs> Grant, what's the next sample? What's that original song needed immediately? Secret Lovers by Atlantic Star. <laughs> Secret Lovers. I'm adding that to my cat playlist. What? What's a cat playlist? It's a playlist that I play when I'm petting the neighborhood cats, kitties. What? It's a playlist that I play when I pet the neighborhood kitties. No, I heard you. Just yeah. why, is, why do you need a playlist for specifically it's awesome. that? Walk up to your favorite neighborhood cat. Boom, imagine that song coming on and a little cat goes between your legs. You stroke it down its spine and it slowly arches its back up. And then you kind of up the tail and that thing's in an erotic oh, oh, mode oh, of ecstasy. I wish it's, <laughs> it's erotic any, for the cat. No, I wish you wouldn't have said that. that. Yeah, no, yeah, it's erotic, erotic for the cat. They yeah, like being stroked. Like no, like dude. That. Sometimes they have that little dangling fat sack under them, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, and I'll salmon slap that sucker. Yeah. Gently, though. Uh -uh. Even I have limits. I'm learning that. Even I have limits. Eventually, this is stuff you don't want to hear. Sometimes yeah. I'll spit on two of my fingers and just put them right okay, inside okay. of them. Okay, okay, yeah, no. I'm, I'm, nah, dude. That's all right. Send me that playlist. <laughs> <laughs> you need help. You bring a kind of chaos to these videos I can't really keep up with. You are projecting. <laughs> you know what projecting means? No? All your talk about drugs, neighborhood yeah, cats, okay. and kind of yeah. reminiscing about high school, not showering with your old pop pop. All uh, that stuff really throws me for a loop. You're just going to let him I mean, he's gas, right. gas light like me. What is too is, much for the videos? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's kind of like keep that to yourself. You probably shouldn't even put that kind of stuff on YouTube. People will start to lose faith in the comedic nature of the show and just start to think it's a deranged individual <laughs> spewing nonsense <laughs> at a camera. And people will start to feel bad for not really laughing with it but laughing at it and over time the fan base will just dwindle into a cesspool of sympathy I don't know if it's all just going to be sympathy I think a lot of it's going to be outrage and uh, resentment 
Well, that's something you'll have to deal with. And what? just know, if I dipped my mouth in a bucket of salt water for 30 minutes and I licked you, my tongue would be coarse enough to pull your skin off. And I could do that as a form of torture and eventually kill you. <laughs> Grant, you said the show was going to be normal. You I told me. Yeah. You said no, that you, you said you would keep that. them on their best behavior. I said abnormal. Speaking of abnormal, my abs are anything but normal. Look at these. Oh, damn. There it is. Actually, the dolphin tattoo. I was wondering about that. That's weird, huh? I actually got to see it without saying, hey, Riley, can you please take off your shirt, you know? Oh, he'll show you As more. The... No, I don't. Riley, show him the camel tattoo. The one of Joe Camel flipping the poker chip. Are you cool with nudity? <laughs> uh, He's cool with it. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm good. It's I'm under his balls. Full frontal nudity. Yeah. No, I don't. It's, it's under actually the not balls. even really frontal. I kind of have to get in a weird... Yeah, like, he gets like in a pretzel. Like, yeah, it's like a, <laughs> I'm going to have to put one of my legs behind my head. Yep. The other one can't do it anymore. Yep. Oh, no. In there a few years ago. No, dude. I do not need to think about that, it's dude. It's badass, dude. Yeah. I do not need that image in my head. It's Joe Camel with the collar popped, and he's flicking a poker chip. Props to the artist. Yeah. Tough spot to tattoo. <laughs> Three, two, one. Put Halo by Beyonce. I put the very real song by Michael Jackson, Together Apart. I put, put me in, coach. This is Love in This Club by Usher. Ah, oh, I knew it was like 2000s R&B. Yeah, I would never get in there. Me too. Because you know what it kind of sounded like with like the, the melody of it? Kind of sounded like, never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. I'm not getting behind I this. I did not pick that up at all. I mean, do I'm we not getting behind you want to listen to it again? I'm not getting behind no, that city good. dump truck. Smells like garbage to me, right, Brad? What? What? I'm not getting by that truck on the highway. I don't track the metaphor here. Yeah, I'm kind of lost as well. Can you explain? I'm not freeing that wild animal into a mall. <laughs> it's not <laughs> even gonna bite anyone. What's the point, you know? Uh, you know, at first I was like, okay, that makes sense. Now the second part is um, kind of concerning. So you're not freeing the animal because he won't do what you want. Or which they... Is, they won't do what you want, which is cause chaos. Oh, no, trust me. A moose or a deer will cause chaos, but it's not going to bite someone. And so you need I that. want bite. You kind of only get to free an animal into the mall once, so it might as well have some bite to it. Is that a pun? No, it wasn't even supposed to be. It's a metaphor. It's honestly, it's more of like a, it's honestly, it's like I'm an allegory. Yeah. Hey, guys, I've wanted to do this all day. Yeah. Let's listen to a little Usher. I'll never listen to a little Usher. No short guy's going to tell me where to sit. <laughs> That song's so good. Usher is such a beast. It's definitely not hipster garbage. No. Least, yeah. That's real G shit. What are you doing? Hello. This thing on? <laughs> That's it? <laughs> That's all you're doing? What's up, Detroit? <laughs> you guys ready for some jokes? <laughs> I like it. The yeah, paranoid what you... comedian. Who in the crowd's ever watched a movie with their girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> So you didn't even get to the airport, and they're, they're checking you at TSA. <laughs> it's all right, buddy. Calm down. All right, Grant. Give us the last sample of the game. Am I able to ask what song that was? No scrubs, brother. Okay, that's what I thought it was. Interpolation? A sample. So I'm not allowed to use the interpolation answer for this one. <clears throat> what did Zach Braff ever do to them? You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, no scrub. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, now I follow you here. Yeah. Scrubs is a show that Zach Braff was the star of. And maybe the creator of. I honestly don't even know. Probably. And uh, the song ass. No Scrubs uh, by T is by TLC. And so in this joke, I guess you're saying that TLC was saying a no to that show. Yeah. No, it's I like, feel what like did Zach Braff ever do to TLC? You know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm doing I'm kind of taking that. Like yeah, okay. like you know that song, No Scrubs? It's like, what did Zach Braff ever do to TLC? <laughs> <laughs> it's a scared comedian. He's kind of skittish and scared. <laughs> you know, when you get to the airport and TSA starts patting you, oh my God! <laughs> you got it, sort of. Yeah, it's yeah. like the scared comedian. Yeah. <laughs> I was listening to the 90s R&B station in Detroit the other day. I didn't know the Learning Channel made music. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a great job, Brad. Oh. Uh -huh. I appreciate that, you know. I Don't was... worry about him. He gets hey, real committed hey, to a hey. bit. Well, no. The like... only way to get him to stop is laugh and tell him the joke's good. Uh, hey, your joke's good. You're funny. <laughs> laugh. You're funny. You're good. You're a good comedian. You gotta laugh, though. Stop taking! Oh. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Bin Laden by Lonely Island. I put uh, Nelly, that one song with the... Ah! 
You know, it's a Mary J. Blige or something. There you go. Yeah. I put What It Is by Dochi. This is What It Is by Dochi. Oh. Okay. What it is, ho, what's up? Every Bradley needs a little hug. Real quick, Grant, can you check that Bin Laden by Lonely Island doesn't also sample No Scrubs by TLC? It does not. Okay. Lonely Island, I never really found them to be that funny. That song's pretty funny, though. I don't know, it's just like, for some reason, it, it never really hit with me. It always feels like it's kind of raunchy, but still safe enough, and... Early Lonely Island, I totally get that. I just feel like all the music from Popstar is really, really good. I haven't heard that, so... If you ever get a chance, I think you would actually really enjoy that movie. Maybe we watch it together. You know, I'm down. You ever heard that Dochi song? No, I have not. Gas. Every good girl needs a little thug. Every black boy needs a little love. You said every Bradley needs a little love for when she says every black boy needs a little love. It's black boy. She says black boy, as in black no. boy JB. Oh no. Wait, actually, yeah. I don't know if she's talking about him, but oh, yes. She said no. guys on the block. You're just another guy on the block. Yeah. Doesn't matter your race, Brad. But if you were black, you would be deserving of love as much as anyone else. That's actually very sweet of you. Probably yeah. even more. Okay. That would have stopped there. I, mean, I don't know. You have to have to go all the way no. there. I mean, geez, yeah. you know. I'd like you more if you were a black guy, Brad. God, see? And this is where, you know what I mean? It's like you you walk somewhere, and then right when we tell you, oh, good job, you walked, you start sprinting, <laughs> yeah. you know? And then you start sprinting into traffic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like odd. It's like yeah. odd the things that you say. Mm -hmm. I totally get it. <laughs> I totally get where you guys are coming from with this one, specifically. Five to three to three, final score. Nice good game, game everybody. We'd like to thank Brad Taste and Music for joining us for yet another right. video. Thank Everybody, you guys for having really me. I big appreciate thanks. it. Thanks. Yeah. So yeah. fun. Please Love subscribe to Brad Taste and Music. It is linked in the description. We recommend his content to anybody who watches Hive Mind. The next 10 subscribers will get a video in their subscription box. Ugh. Ugh. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Diplomatic <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, blah, blah, blah. All the stuff I said at the beginning, and Graydon, come on, hit them with some advice to live or lead their lives by. Don't write a dipshit check that your dumbass mouth can't cash. All right, this has been High Mind TV. We love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>
<laughs> he just didn't yeah. play the end of the video. <laughs>